Sandra. This kid, those things are wired up and can't move around, like how they were fabled to back in the day. In fact, you're sitting in the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza right now. Is that neat? The owners of this location sold the property to Fun Frights Incorporated while they're looking for a place to build their new attractions. So what a coincidence that the old pizza place was here. How perfect for an old creepy restaurant to be in this exact area. The land was very cheap too. I mean the building was so messed up that they had to either destroy it or attempt to renovate it. Of course they were going bankrupt, so they decided to try selling it, leading to where you currently are. Speaking of the building being in poor condition, we've had to work in renovating parts of it already. Almost everything is complete, but the power died shortly after we started renovating. We have resorted to using a generator, so uh, make sure you don't run out of generator energy. If you do, just try to find a flashlight or something. It's looking pretty spooky in there, so good luck with that. Oh man. Uh, oh yeah. I guess I have to read the safety packet to you. Uh, Alright. Welcome to Frederick's Fright, the latest and greatest horror attraction featuring actual relics from the original diners, where mysteries about the events were tragic but not certain. In case of any sort of injury or harm inflicted by an animatronic occurs, we are not to be held responsible as it is your own fault doing so. If the chance of a person has turned up missing or has a fatal event happened within our premises, the location of that event will be cleaned up after the attraction's running hours, blah blah blah, blah for lots of nonsense. I mean, I could understand injuries if someone was just plain old dumb with our equipment, but to die in our building, that's ridiculous. Our animatronics should be just fine. Uh, anyways, let's finish up on how you have to work the place. So to your left, you have a big old door thing from the old Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It's used to close off guests while they're playing the flashlight game next to your office. It makes a cool transition from when they leave the game and enter the office. And finally, to your right, you have a false vent that you can shut once the guests have exited. We don't want them coming back through, or something like that? I don't know. Alright, I'll leave you to it now. See you on the flip side.